All right, I'm I'm just started recording. So if you guys, uh, you can just fire away and ask questions to Colin. All right, uh, Colin, you obviously entered the portal, came back. Can you talk about why you came back? Yeah, uh, really, it was a uh, just came down to a numbers thing. Um, Cal, Cal kind of had to figure out what they could do uh, with a certain amount of scholarships. Um, it was definitely in my interest to get a master's program because I did graduate in the uh, spring. So I, I definitely wanted to make sure I got a master's um, while playing football. And um, luckily, a spot opened up here at Cal. Um, and I got to stay home and finish out with all the teammates that I started with. And that was uh, really important for me. Um, just because I feel like we still got some unfinished business. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, what, are you, what are you studying? Uh, right now, I am getting my uh, master's in public health. So very timely and interesting degree. And I'm <laughs> glad to be doing it for sure. Absolutely. Um, so I, I assume you've been practicing with the team for about a week now. Um, yeah. How is that? Have you noticed anything? Uh, has anything new stuck out with uh, Musgrave as the new OC? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely as a tight end, I feel like we're being uh, utilized a lot more, which is awesome. Um, we got a lot of 12 personnel um, with two tight ends, um, 22 personnel, a fullback, two tight ends. Um, so I definitely say we're, we're busier during practice, which I definitely think is a good thing. Um, and it's been fun. We've also been able to move all over the field as a tight end. We're not always just attached to the tackle. Um, we're getting split out, so we get to go up against a lot of the corners too, which is uh, fun and interesting and something we didn't do that much last year. So it's it's an exciting challenge. Shoot. And then how's the testing been? What, what's that process like? Can you sort of walk me through like what your daily routine is around you know testing and safety yeah. precautions? Um, so everyone, we have our classes in the morning. We each have a, a lift time. Um, we all fill out like a little screener. Uh, they call it like a cow screener um, to make sure that you're able to get on campus. And that's basically just notifying them that you have no symptoms. Um, and the first thing they do is they take your temperature, um, give you a wristband showing that your temperature was okay. Um, and then after that, you go directly um, to kind of a space they created within Cal Memorial Stadium that's dedicated to daily testing. So I show up, my time for testing is at, is at 1.30. So um, I show up early, get there at 1.30, um, do the nose swab, your self nose swab. Um, and they've done a really good job at making sure it was streamlined and easy for all of us. Um, then after that, you basically begin with your normal pre-practice routine, whether it's taping, studying the plays, um, you're just doing that within the concourse on uh, Cal Memorial Stadium. So making sure that we're staying um, close to the stadium while they uh, do the tests and get the results back. And then uh, once you want it, once it comes back negative, you're able to go practice. And uh, how do you feel like, uh, I mean, both, both your sort of tight ends unit and then the rest of the team is um, taking this sort of the safety precautions, the social distancing measures, um, I think all of us, everyone on the team is just excited to play. So uh, we're doing, we're willing to do whatever we have to just to play football. Um, all those of us that have opted in, we're here for a reason. So um, basically we just, now it's our new daily routine. Um, if it means we get to go out and play a little football, I'm sure we're all willing to do it. So uh, we've all been very accepting of it. And I mean, we probably have it pretty good considering a lot of other people are dealing with health issues because of this. So I think we're all just grateful to be healthy and have the opportunity to play football. That's all got, I got for the moment. All right. Thanks, Jasper. Um, Owen or Trace, you guys got anything you want to ask? No, I got nothing. It looked like Trace was uh, having to take a phone call or something like that, so he may not be, may not actually be there. Um, oh, if Colin, it's if 
It's noon. You said you had to split off or something. So, um, Colin, you want to hang out just for another minute, just to make yeah, sure yeah. there's no one in the other room. But um, I think it's pretty likely. We'll Balancing academics and, and football has changed now that you're doing a master's program rather than your undergrad. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I think um, I have a lot more flexibility in my schedule. My my master's program is all online, so um, I basically have uh, they give me like the the work for the whole week on Monday, and I basically got to do that work by the end of the week. Um, so I'm given a lot of freedom to just work around my schedule because a lot of other people in my master's programs have full-time jobs. Um, I like to consider football a full-time job as well. So it helps me uh, definitely balance football and academics. Um, I think it's easier probably than undergrad because undergrad you got this class at this time, this class at this time, then practice weights, you got everything. Um, but now I can kind of dedicate, probably I dedicate my mornings more to football. And then um, after practice, once I'm done watching film, I'm able to, crack down on the uh, academic aspect of it. And what made you choose public health? Like, has that always been something you're interested in or? Yeah, um, one, one, there's an opportunity here at Cal that, and a lot of previous football players have gone into public health with uh, their fifth year and pursued that master's. So I'm um, talking to a lot of the guys that I've done in the past. They say it's a, it's a great master's program. And also just because of how timely it is. Um, I think it's an industry that's, making a lot of important decisions right now and uh i think hopefully at one day i can uh be at the forefront of those decisions um so i'm, I'm very excited to be doing what i'm doing and what i'm learning i think it's extremely relevant so thanks yeah of course hey colin how yeah. have you changed as a tight end since last year how have i changed yeah. Hmm, that's a great question. Uh, I definitely think I will, something I came into this off season wanting to improve was uh, route running. Um, last year, I've, I felt like I was primarily used as a blocking tight end. Um, don't get me wrong. I'd still rather pancake someone than catching a touchdown any day of the week. But uh, I definitely wanted to get better at route running and just become more versatile, especially because Musgrave's offense utilizes the tight end. Um, like I said earlier, like we'll be lined up against corners in the wide receiver, the standard wide receiver position. So uh, that requires a little bit more shiftiness. And uh, I try to watch Nico Remigio do whatever he does, Makai Polk. Um, I might not be as fast, but I, I know when it looks right. And I'm trying to do exactly what they do. So. Think, or why did you end up looking at Nico and Makai to improve your route running? Uh, I think, to be honest, all of our receivers are studs. Um, mainly this offseason, uh, during the quarantine, I got a chance to throw with Nico and run routes with Nico. So he was giving me some pointers. Um, and we were talking about it the other day with him, just like about the proper way to break down in your routes. And uh, I think he does a great job. And I think both him and Makai get open all the time, as well as Kakoa and a lot of the other guys. But um, yeah, I, I definitely liked when I have free time during practice to just kind of peek over and see how they're doing it and then try my best to replicate it. I mean, it's definitely easier said than done, but uh, I think all the tight ends, including Gavin Tonjes, me, we're all, we're all trying to replicate it just so we become more of an asset to this offense. <laughs> 